what you're about to see is based on true events. An elderly couple, Uncle Marv and Aunt Cheryl, receive an unexpected visit in the middle of the night. There is a suspicious truck outside. Cheryl is startled by the presence of a blonde woman with a doll mask inside her house. Moments later, that same unknown woman pets the couple's dog and lies down by Marv's side. A little while later, Mark, Cindy, and their children, Kinsey and Luke, go on a trip to Gatlin Lake to spend the weekend. Luke and Kinsey aren't very fond of going there, and they argue when Luke brings up the issue about Kinsey being sent off to boarding school. Stopping at a diner, Kinsey avoids eating with her family. Her mother soon joins her outside and tries to explain that she worries about her. Kinsey, however, feels like an outcast from her own family, and the conversation between them ends rather abruptly. Reaching the trailer park, Mike and his family encounter a grim and menacing place covered in mist. They stop at the main office, and Cindy picks up the keys to their trailer. A note on the counter informs Cindy that their hosts will meet them in the morning. The family gets to their trailer, and before they can settle in, there comes a knocking on their door. Cindy opens the door and sees an unknown blonde girl with her face in mysterious shadow, asking if Tamara is home. Cindy tells her that she got the wrong trailer, and the girl walks away. Mike and Cindy try to get their children to spend some time together as a family, but Kinsey, who is still mad at her parents, sits alone with her earphones. At her father's plea to come and play cards with them, Kinsey storms out of the trailer. Mike and Cindy ask from Luke to hang out with her to try and calm her down. Luke finds Kinsey and tells her that going to a boarding school isn't that bad. A dark figure is stalking the two siblings. Back at the trailer, Mike and Cindy share a moment, when the same unknown girl visits them and asks about Tamara again. Mike politely sends her away, and Cindy expresses her concern about her kids. Mike calls for Luke, but to no avail, and before he gets back inside, he notices the bulb has been unscrewed. In the meantime, Luke and Kinsey wander around the premises. They come across a trailer with its door open and go inside to investigate. Kinsey finds alcohol in one of the cabinets, but a banging sound scares the two teenagers. They proceed to the bedroom and get scared by a dog, which runs away as if frightened. Luke sees that a delicate hand has written, Hello, dozens of times on the window. But that is not the weirdest thing they encounter, as Kinsey notices a bloodstained bedsheet covering something. She takes it off and the grotesque sight of the dead bodies of Uncle Marv and Aunt Cheryl is revealed to them. Terrified, they run out of the trailer and try to find their way around until they find their parents. Luke explains what they have found, and Mike asks him to take him there, while Cindy takes Kinsey back to their trailer. Inside the relative safety of their lodgings, Kinsey starts crying and soon notices that their phones have been mysteriously smashed. Cindy attempts to call 911 when a blonde masked woman, aka Dollface, appears in front of them. She brandishes a knife and stabs it in the counter, sending Cindy and Kinsey screaming with fear to the bedroom. The two women retreat further inside and lock themselves in the bathroom. Silence prevails for a while, at which Cindy urges Kinsey to escape through a skylight window. Suddenly, Dollface breaks the door and enters the bathroom. Kinsey tries to pull her mother up, but the Dollface stabs and kills her. Crying from the death of her mother, Kinsey flees the trailer. Meanwhile, Mike follows Luke to Marv and Cheryl's trailer, where he witnesses with his own eyes the maimed corpses. As Mike realizes they don't have any phones with them, he goes to call 911 using the landline phone. Suddenly, a banging sound and the smashing of the kitchen window lets him know that they are under serious threat. Mike tells Luke that they have to get back to Cindy and Kinsey and get out of there. They decide to make a run for it, but a masked man armed with an axe is blocking their path. Mike locks the door and finds a gun Marv used to keep in the trailer. Mike warns the stranger to leave or else he'll start shooting, but the masked man has vanished. Mike and Luke return to their trailer and they are shocked when they find Cindy dead in the bathroom. With no time to grieve, Mike takes his son to go search for Kinsey, who is being hunted by Dollface. Mike and Luke drive around the location searching for Kinsey when the masked man throws a brick at the windshield, causing them to crash. They both pass out as Kinsey is being stalked by the masked man. Kinsey hides in a large pipe. 
The masked man drives his truck about and stops in front of the pipe's opening, directly in front of Kinsey, who yells at him to leave them alone. A brunette masked woman, aka Pinup Girl, appears suddenly next to her, saying, but we've just started, at which Kinsey runs away. At the crashed car, Luke is the first to regain his consciousness. He sees that his father has been impaled by a metal beam and is unable to move. Luke tries to help him, but Mike is now beyond any help. He tells his son to go and find his sister. Luke takes the gun and leaves his father behind, but the masked man comes shortly after and sits next to Mike. He turns on the radio and selects his favourite song. Mike pleads at first and then tells him to leave his family alone. The masked man is silently watching as Mike is bleeding out. He takes out an ice pick and kills Mike with it. Kinsey gets inside a trailer to hide and hears a weird sound coming from the bedroom. It is a jack-in-the-box toy, and as Kinsey picks it up, the doll face reveals herself. She attacks Kinsey and stabs her in the leg, but before she can kill her, Luke comes and points the gun at her. The woman drops the knife, and though tempting though it may be at the moment, Luke can't bring himself to shoot her. He and Kinsey leave and hide in another trailer. Luke confronts and calms down his sister while tending to her wound. Unexpectedly, the truck of the masked man breaks through the front wall of the trailer. Luke and Kinsey flee, but with Kinsey limping, Luke decides to hide her under a porch and go on his own to get help. Reaching the main office, Luke calls 911, but the line is cut off, and soon he is confronted by the masked man and the pinup girl. Luke runs to the back of the building, where he narrowly escapes a knife attack by the pinup girl, whom he hits hard on the head with a golf club. Not sure if she's dead or not, Luke is startled by her as he goes to take off her mask, at which point he stabs her multiple times and kills her. The masked man then comes and Luke taunts him. The man swings his axe, but Luke avoids his attacks. They both end up in the swimming pool, and as Luke tries to get away, he is stabbed in the back. The masked man leaves shortly after. Luke is now seriously injured, but Kinsey comes and gets him out of the pool. Kinsey says that she will go and get help for him, but not sure where to go, Kinsey comes across a deputy officer who, unfortunately for her, is killed by the dollface. Kinsey gets in the deputy's car, but she can't drive away as the dollface is in possession of the keys. The murderess gets inside the car and starts slashing at Kinsey, who fights back and kicks her out. Kinsey then grabs the deputy's shotgun and shoots Dollface. Getting out of the car, Kinsey takes off Dollface's mask and asks her why they are doing this. The blonde woman, severely injured, replies, why not, and Kinsey shoots her dead. Kinsey gets back inside the deputy's car and starts the engine. Unaware, the masked man drives his truck and hits the vehicle from behind. He moves close and stares at her before driving around to hit her again. Kinsey gets out and sees that the masked man's truck has got stuck with the deputy's car. She also notices that the fuel tank is leaking from underneath, and grinning victoriously, she throws a Zippo lighter, causing the two vehicles to explode. The masked man isn't done yet. Pulling his burning truck, he chases Kinsey to a bridge. Kinsey falls down and tries to crawl away. The masked man stops and exits the truck, dragging his axe behind him. Yet. Half of his face is burned, and he has been impaled by a shard of broken glass. He takes a few steps, and collapses. Kinsey gets away and stops a passing truck. The driver gets out, but as soon as she sees the masked man behind Kinsey, she gets back inside and turns on the engine. Kinsey manages to get into the back of the car, the masked man close behind her. Kinsey avoids his axe swings before smashing his head with a baseball bat. The truck eventually drives away with a dreaded Kinsey screaming, leaving behind a bloody masked man lying still on the asphalt. A little while later, Kinsey, tormented by memories of the recent horrible experience, sits by her brother's side, who is recovering in a hospital room. At some point, she goes to have a drink of water when she hears a jack-in-the-box noise. Truly horrified, she drops the cup of water on the floor upon hearing a knock on the door. <laughs>